Okay, here we are. <laughs> We're out of the ice drifting. First thing I want to say, it is really cold here. Obviously, it is ice drifting. But uh, yeah, it's about minus 17 or something right now. Um, so, um, I knew it was going to be cold. The last time I was out here was a couple of years ago and it was about the same, it was about minus 20 or so. So, yeah. But uh, this is it. This is the track. Um, so basically about four years ago, I bought, when I first moved to Norway, I bought an old Opel and I came out and tried this. And honestly, and I still say to this day, it was the most fun I've ever had in regards to cars and Norway. It was just insane. So much fun. Um, I would have loved to have got another car this year and done it again, but that wasn't the case. But uh, yeah, I think I can see my friend Doug out there. So uh, he's in a white super, we'll go have a chat to him. He's actually bought a motor from me, a motor from the Gold Coast, which is like so weird to think that a motor from the Gold Coast is now here in a car on the ice, so yeah. But uh, we'll go for a little walk around and have a look at some cars, huh? Okay, so we just did some laps in our my friend Doug Supra here. So much fun. Now I remember how much I just loved doing this ice drifting. It's just fucking, just so cool. Um, yeah, this Supra, he bought it cheap. He's just been fixing it up over the past, like, I don't know, like nine, 10 months or something. What is crazy is this engine it's actually from the Gold Coast in Australia. I helped him import it. Uh, it's a Lexus VVTi 2JZ uh, GE non turbo from a Lexus, uh, uh, what is it from? GS 300s or whatever. So, yeah, crazy to think <laughs> that an engine that was on the Gold Coast in Australia probably never saw anything colder than like, I don't know, 15, 18 degrees is now here and it's minus 20. Ice drifting in Norway, so that's the impact I have here. So, so cool. Anyway, yeah, I mean, uh, 
it's kind of a difference. Like this thing is so well set up for the ice. It's perfect. You, you know, you can go out in most cars here and have a bit of fun, but in something like this, it's just so much fun as you get so much lock out there. And uh, you can kind of keep a bit of a faster pace as well and keep it in the higher gears. And uh, yeah, so much fun. Um, crazy perfect weather here as well. Usually when I've been here, it's been like cloudy and stuff. You've got the uh, sun coming down. It's probably like, what, two in the afternoon. The sun's going down, so yeah. But um, just, yeah, makes me want to get out there, buy an ice car and do this again. Because in terms of like training, it's some of the best training you can do for drifting as well. Because you can just basically just keep doing lap after lap after lap. And you're not really wearing anything out either. I mean, your tires hardly, you know, don't really wear out tires. It's only like mechanical problems that you might run into or something, or if you crash, but yeah. And with the tires, you can see what Dark's riding here. I'm kind of learning about the tires. I think there's three different types of winter tires you can get. You get the normal ones for like road use. What you'll see just on like most cars here in uh, Norway driving around who do have studded tires. Then you've got these ones, lappy tires. I guess it's kind of uh, the in-between one. The studs, you can see, are quite aggressive and they stick out quite far and there's a lot of them as well. So, I, I mean, Norwegians have to correct me here. I don't think these are allowed on normal roads. I wouldn't imagine they would be due to how aggressive those studs are. And the next one up from this is what you'll see on like WRC cars on like ice stages and stuff. Real narrow, huge studs sticking out of them. And um, they get crazy amounts of grip on them. So yeah, I've got another ice driving video from like 2018 or something where I was in Sweden with some friends and uh, check that out where I kind of go through it a bit more. But basically because it's been quite warm here, it's been a warm um, fall or autumn, uh, they're not allowing you to have those rally tires on there because the ice is not thick enough apparently. So you're only allowed to use normal road winter tires and then these laffy tires. So yeah, kind of a bit of education about uh, Scandinavian uh, winter tires.
Okay, once again, more laps in a different car. This old Ford, uh, two liter Pinto motor, 150 horsepower. Uh, it's my friend Daniel's car. Um, he's a cool guy. This thing's like set up with like BMW front uh, suspension and steering, I believe now. It only got finished yesterday, he said, and they brought it out here today and it, it goes quite well. Um, you saw, just saw how well we were tandeming with that Supra just then, which was so much fun. I hope the camera kind of shows how close we were getting to it, because it was kind of insane and a little bit scary, especially being in this car. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that kind of wraps up today as uh, the sun starts to go down here over Sigdal. Um, and it is getting really cold too, so I don't think I can actually kind of stay out here. I need to get back in the car where it's warm again. Um, I talk about how much I climatized to Norway, or I think I have climatized, but when it drops below minus 10 and you're in places like this, then um, you start to not talk so hard anymore and the uh, Australian in you starts to come out a little bit as your fingers just start absolutely freezing, you can't feel them. Um, I was trying to film before and I couldn't even keep the camera steady, I was just shaking so much, so uh, probably time to wrap it up when, uh, when that starts happening. But um, I really want to come out and film more ice driving. I want to come out maybe next weekend. Um, if they do allow to have the rally tires in there, then hopefully they'll have some rally cars out here. And uh, then you get to see some serious guys going uh, pretty fast as well, so yeah. But overall, an eventful day today. Got to see the Sephiro, a couple of small updates on that, not much. And I uh, got to see some ice driving, so that's uh, pretty damn good. It's more than I've done in the past like three months, so I'm stuck with that. Once again guys, thanks for watching. More updates coming soon. We've got the brakes coming up on the Sephiro that I'm going to be filming. Uh, we're going to be powder coating them. And uh, more other things. Hopefully the rust will be done up. We can start painting the damn thing. And uh, yeah, more of uh, some crazy Norwegian ice driving. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.